Hi everyone and welcome back to today's morning report with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets for Thursday the 15th of May. I'm going to move quickly on to Euro dollar now and I say quickly because this one is now moving on us very sharply. Um, we've had uh, an acceleration to the downside once more today on the euro that is now on this daily chart. Very interesting. We're now completing, I say completing, this big double top pattern that we've got here um, that had been using um, on a break below that 36.71 um, support that we had from as the old April low. That 36.71 mark, 36.62 just now has been hit um, but uh, rallied uh, a little bit about 10 pips higher but certainly that 36.71 support is now breaking and uh, you would certainly say that a, um, that a uh, confirmed move or a confirmed close below 36.71 today would confirm that pattern which would open for further downside. So the immediate support is 36.41, which is uh, the March low. But then, um, to be honest, if this uh, pattern is, well, certainly that, that pattern would be seriously confirmed on a move below 36.41. Uh, and then that would certainly reopen all these lows from January in the 2004, uh, 2014 lows. Um, We're back below this 144 day moving average quickly uh, as well, which um, that 144 day moving average has been uh, basically used on uh, on several occasions as the basis of support. Uh, and the fact that um, we are now back below it, um, if, if it closes below and uh, stays below that, that would be a bearish, um, certainly a bearish change of outlook for the euro. In terms of the RSI on this daily chart, you're back below already that uh, April low on the RSI. Um, so this would suggest that momentum is turned sharply now euro negative uh, and rallies are certainly now going to be seen as a chance to sell in um, for further downside. Intraday, um, you do not see too much. Sorry, it's just a uh, quickly. There you go. Intraday. Um, you've had this sharp downside shift early on, sharp downside shift uh, following on from yesterday's consolidation. That has now been blown out of the water. 36.88, you'd argue, is a, a minor resistance, but you'd probably say that the uh, the resistance band is still uh, between 36.88 and 37.31. Um, 37 big figure also is uh, a resistance area as well. So. You'd say that any sort of rally in towards back towards this consolidation band 36.88 to 37.0, oh, so sorry, sorry 37.31 would be a chance to sell. All these momentum indicators bearish. Um, that MAC, those MACD lines have only just really unwound to to neutral to turn down once more, suggesting uh, downside potential has been renewed, and uh, further losses are can uh, can certainly be expected. So. This uh, euro chart continues to deteriorate. The sharp move to the downside, uh, and I think rallies are a chance to sell. So I wish you good luck in your trading on euro. Don't forget you've got the CPI data at 10 o'clock today for the eurozone. If that comes in below one, uh, if that comes in below 0.7%, you could expect further downside um, momentum in this eurozone. Uh, in this euro chart, euro dollar, and uh, also we've got the US CPI data for the states uh, at 130, which could also create significantly more volatility in this chart. So a lot going on in the euro dollar chart, and it is a moving um, situation. So uh, I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.